right. Go. All right. So, all right, first graders. So today we are going to, um, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about some things. I'm going to ask you about would you rather questions. So, um, we're going to talk about things that we would rather have. Like, would we rather have an orange or would we rather have ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. Would we rather have pizza or would we rather have carrots? Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Would we rather have taco or hot peppers? Ooh, tacos. <laughs> tacos. Like tacos, right? So when we're talking about things that we would rather have, um, I would like to ask you guys, do you, do you always like everything that you're given to eat? Is that something that, like, when you go to have supper and you sit down, do you like everything that your your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa or your aunt or your uncle gives you on your plate? No. Yeah, probably not, right? We probably don't like everything that we're given. Um, but there's probably a reason we don't like everything we're given because we kind of have favorites, kind of have things that we like and don't like. Like, Nicole, what's something you might like or not like that you're given at dinner? Ooh, I like mashed potatoes, and I hate my mom's goulash. I didn't like my mom's goulash either. My mom put all kinds of funny stuff in her goulash, like mixed vegetables and crushed tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. Summer, is there anything that you really liked that your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa made? Um, probably enchiladas. Enchiladas. I didn't have enchiladas until I was much older because I was a picky eater. I didn't like to try new things, but that's just because I was a picky eater. Yeah. All right. We're going to go over some things that we learned last week. And that was the choose my plate. And last week we talked about the my plate and we learned about um, the different food groups. And we learned that the red stood for one thing and that the orange stood for one thing and that the purple stood for one thing and that the green stood for one thing and the blue stood for one thing. And just a disclaimer to you guys as adults right now, we, if you don't know what they are, it's okay. But I'm going to ask the students to come up and fill in the blanks um, as a review as to what goes in each food group, okay? So just trying to remember from last week, Nicole, can you, can you guess what goes in the blue food group? Milk? Milk, milk is a dairy, yes, dairy. milk goes in the food group. Yeah, that goes in the blue. Um, let's see, and how about, in the green summer. What do you think goes in the green? Vegetables? Yes, vegetables. Vegetables goes in the green. You're right. And then we, I'm just going to pretend that we asked other students about this one. So we got that all done. Yeah, that was a good review on that food group, on the My Plate. But now we're going to talk about trying some new foods. Okay. We're going to talk about um, trying new foods that you like or don't like, okay? And we are going to do, do some, some fun stuff today. Sorry, I keep bending over that stuff. We are going to make, can you guys tell what this is? A taco? It is a taco. It's a taco. It's got stuff inside that I, I made my own taco. You guys are going to make a taco today. And we are also going to, to make a graph, a taco graph. And today we're going to graph 
the things that we put on our taco right here. And then we're also gonna grab things we might try next time on our taco, okay? We have a list of all the different things below that we have as options to put on our taco today, okay? And we are also going to read the book, Dragon Loves Taco, okay? At the end, we are going to graph together all of our likes together so we can see what everyone likes on their tacos, okay? All right. So the goal for today is for us to all find new things that we can try. Maybe encourage others to try new things, okay? So, now that we're all sitting together all nice and neat and keeping our hands to ourselves, we're gonna share our story, Dragons Love Tacos. I like this story because it's kind of fun. Hey kid. Did you know that dragon loves ta love tacos? Dragons love tacos. They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They really love big, gigantic tacos, tiny little baby tacos as well. Look at his dog. This dog is kind of kind of looking puzzled, doesn't he? Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell of the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crisp tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy, chunky, salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ear smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons tummy, the tummy troubles. And when dragons get tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep toppings mild. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese. These are all good toppings for, taco, for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy topping, taco toppings? <laughs> Look at his tongue is hanging out. <laughs> Dragons love parties, like costume parties, pool parties. They like big, gigantic parties with accordions. Huh, accordions. Do you know what an accordion is? Summer, do you know what an accordion is? Well, I have a vocabulary word over here, and it says right up here, a book, a accordion is a portable keyboard musical instrument played by Air Force through, from a bellow past metal reeds. Seems like a really, really, really hard vocabulary word. But if you look at it, it's got keys on the side, kind of like a keyboard. Then it's got these scrunchy things in between, kind of like something that goes back and forth like this. And tiny little parties with charades. Charades, that's a hard word. Nicole, have you ever heard of them? The, the word charades. I've heard of it, but I, I don't know how to explain it. It's a game. It's a game. Players, they play it together and they get to play it and they guess a word or a phrase, but they can't speak. They have to act it out. So one person gets to make movements with their hands and their face, but no words and then the other people have to try and guess. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of good friends' laughter. 
The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. Look at pant loads right there. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill it with the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey, dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? He looks pretty excited. He's marking his calendar. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so dragons can't find it. Look at they're burying it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. It's a good thing you got rid of that spicy. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the, fi read the fine print. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Huh. Dragon, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa. Those are jalapeno peppers. Those are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you're, you're not gonna love those tacos. Do not eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh my, fire everywhere, too late. Oh my, they burn down everything. Look at the poor puppy. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Hmm. What do you think a Samaritan is? What do you think a good Samaritan is? Do you guys know what good Samaritans are? No? Seems like maybe a good Samaritan is a person who helps another person. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. All right, so now that we read our story, we are all going to go back to our tables. But I'm going to have you guys go to your tables, and I'm going to dismiss you by your color of shirt. So when I say your color of shirt, you can go back to your table, and we're going to get instructions there. And then we will start our taco decoration, okay? So by the color of green shirts can go to their table, and then by the color of red shirts, they can go to their table. And... So this is just to give the teacher time to get all of her things together, okay? Um, all right. So you guys aren't here. In other words, I give you your taco shell. <laughs> so here are your taco shells. And um, we're going to go over the rules, okay? So there's rules about rules and guidelines, right? So when we're doing our arts and crafts, we wanna use our own ideas. We're not making our friends tackle, right? We're making our tackle. So Summer, you're not gonna put the same thing that Nicole has on her tackle, right? Because it's your tackle. You don't wanna make Nicole's tackle. So just cause Nicole likes tomatoes or Nicole likes spicy salsa, doesn't mean you're going to put spicy salsa on yours, right? Or Nicole, just because Summer likes beans and olives, that doesn't mean you're going to put beans and olives on yours, right? We're going to make our own tacos, okay? So this is where I would hand you guys out your tacos. You would go and make your tacos, okay? We're not here, so I can't, can't do that with you. I talk about kindness. Sorry, I have to just explain this because... I don't know what else to do. <laughs> um, instead of visual timer, you guys would make your tacos. I was gonna make play music. 
you'd make your tackles while play music. I'd walk around and assist. And uh, all right, so let's pretend you made your tackles, okay? <laughs> all right, so when you're done making your tackles, I'm gonna come around and hand out your tackle graph, okay? Just a little bit before you're done making your tackle, I'm gonna put this on your table and you're each gonna get one, okay? And then the music stops and that means it's time to clean up. Everybody's cleaning up, okay? And now we're, we're back to our desk, our table. All right, and I am going to model to you guys how to do your tackle graph because I wanna make sure you know how to use it, okay? So, on my tackle graph, I have my tackle here, okay? And I put meat on my tackle. So I am going to mark in that I put meat on my tackle, okay? I would use a marker, but I put meat on my tackle. And I put cheese on my tackle, so I'm gonna mark in that I put cheese on my tackle. I did not put salsa on my tackle, so I will not mark that I put salsa on my tackle. I did put onions on my tackle, so I will mark that I put onions on my tackle. I did not put olives on my tackle. I do not like olives. I did not put onions or olives. I did put lettuce and I put beans and I put guacamole and I put tomatoes. So those are all the things that I put on my taco. And next time I am going to try salsa on my taco. So that is how we fill out our tackle graph. When you're done, I'd like you to flip your page over on your desk. If you have extra time, there is a little extra coloring worksheet. There's colors in your um, art stuff and you can do that, okay? All right, so that would be what we would do. You guys would make your taco graph. Um, when everyone's done, their pages would be obviously flipped over and they'd be coloring until everyone is done. When everyone's done, I'm gonna call everyone back to the circle time. And I'm gonna do this by letters of your first name. So we're gonna come back full circle and do our large taco graph together. So um, we're gonna pretend everybody's done. <laughs> And everyone who has a name that begins with an S can come to circle time. And then everybody who has a name that begins with the N can come to circle time. And then we're all gonna gather and we are going to graph our large graph together. And we would take turns and I would say, who all put meat on their tacos? And if you put meat on your tacos, we'd raise our hand and we'd fill in how many people put meat. And there's only two, you so only made two squares. <laughs> um, and I would have you each come up and take draft. And let's say we filled in the graph. It's all filled in. We're all done with that. We're gonna look at in theirs. And then we're gonna participate and talk about who chose that they were going to try salsa next time. Who's trying salsa? And I chose salsa. We are that in common, Summer. We're gonna try salsa on our taco next time. And then we're gonna talk about, I gotta look at my, I want you to take your taco home and talk to your family about next time you have tacos, about the different toppings that you guys have and about something new that they'd like to try on their taco. And next time we uh, have a lesson, we are going to talk about making fruit tacos. We're gonna make tacos that we use, cut up fruit on. And that's it. That's it. <laughs>